Welcome to another episode of Victory Woodworks with Vic. I'm Vic. So uh, my wife challenged me to make some sort of a holiday festive uh, item with the CNC. So I sat there and I thought about it and I said, hey, how about some sort of candlestick holder? So what you're gonna watch today in this video is how I design and make a candlestick holder on the CNC. Welcome to Project Hold Downs. This is the design section. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up Carbide Create. Uh, I have the pro version to help us cut out our stock into uh, a three-tiered uh, candle, candle holder. So first step is gonna be set up Carbide Create. Second is create a single candle holder. You'll see that as we, as we move forward. Then create the double candle holder. Chamfer all the shapes, give it a nice finish. Create the tool pads, and then we're going to uh, save the G code out and get cut. All right, uh, step one: create the setup. So we're going to click on the background, click the little gear icon. Our stock, in this case, is going to be oak. It's 12 inches wide, five and a quarter inches high. Um, standard resolution on the model. I'm not sure if that what that actually does. Thickness is 0.75, which is three quarters of an inch top left hand corner is going to be our zero spot and then switch this to a uh, hardwood Chipelco 4 half inch retract height that's pretty simple simple setup okay okay step two we're going to create the single candle holder which is basically the model for for these um, for the stackable candlestick holders uh, so first we're going to need a little square that's going to be two and a half inches square we have that let's just anchor it to something that would be a midpoint here okay uh, also I wanted to mention the T candles I'm using are one and a half inches by uh, 0.625 inches or 1 in 17 30 seconds by 9 16 so that's gonna be the central so here we've got the, the square uh, we're going to fill it the outside uh, and then we're going to create the circle cutout for the candle itself, which, as we just mentioned, is going to be half of 1.53, which is, is 0.765. We may add just a little bit just so the candle actually fits in there. So let's make that 0.77. And let's take that and let's center it inside of our candle candle holder so we've got we've got the one piece so far step three let's create the double candle holder so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this shape copy it three times and put it right next to each other and we're going to use that as a basis of our design Let's make sure we got the midpoints. Okay, so we have all three of these. Uh, and what we need now is one more square or rectangle all the way on the outside. So this one's going to be seven and a half inches by two and a half inches and it's going to have filleted corners this is going to encompass the outside of our candlestick holders there we go get the right size in there okie dokie so in this center one we don't need this circle but we do need the square because that's going to be the cutout where this candle is going to be placed into. Before we're going to create all the chamfers uh, around the objects so that we get a, a cleaner finish. Now one thing we forgot to do in the previous step was this cutout needs to be just slightly bigger. So we're going to offset that 
0.0025 to the outside, hit apply. That'll give us a second line here so we can do a double cutout for, for this piece. Now for the chamfers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this and we're gonna grab this outside edges. And we're gonna offset that to 0 0.025. That'll give us a secondary line that allow us to plunge the 45 degree V-bit to create a chamfer on the outside of our objects. Step five of the design process, we're basically gonna create the tool paths. Uh, but before we do that, I almost forgot, we have to add in our tabs for our parts so they don't uh, get cut loose. So here's the tab tool, let's create a couple. We're gonna do it on this line. Okay, not sure why it's not, oh, because we got that selected. Let's uh, create here on the inside one. There we go, tabs, one up top, one on the bottom, one on the side, one on the other side. That should be good for that one. And let's do the same thing here. Select the object. Put a tab. 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 And tab. Okay, now that we're done with those, let's do the cutouts. Now here, we're going to cut out the, the candle spot first. Maybe three of those. And we're going to pocket it out. Okay, let's create the actual paths. Let's go to tool paths. First one we're going to create, oh, um, I don't know if you guys use the grouping function here, but what I've done is I've grouped it by bit. So here, these are going to be the quarter inch uh, cuts, and I'm going to cut the V-bit, and then the final cutouts. So first we're going to do is cut out the candle, candle spots. We're going to pocket those using the current selection. We're going to use the 46202 bit spiral bit with the standard uh, feeds and speeds. Hit OK. We're going to go from the top, and we're only going to cut. We're going to cut these out to a half inch. Um, I think that's as far down as we need to put the the candles. So we'll call this the candle pocket. And we're going to put that right there. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the candle spot, for lack of, or the candle holder spot. So we're going to pocket that also. Use the current selection. Uh, same bit, same speeds. Except this one is only going to go to 0.25 because uh, we don't we want it to sit up a little bit in, inside the candle holder. And we'll call this the uh, candle holder pocket. And we'll put that here also. Next, we're going to select our outside chamfers. And we're going to uh, contour those with the 45 degree V bit. So let's select the right tool here. We're going down, V, V, and that's going to be this uh, Amana 1145 RC bit. We're going to select that, standard feeds and fe uh, speeds and feeds. Hit OK. We're going to start at the top. We're going to go down 0.2 of an inch, 2 tenths of an inch. We're going to do it on the no offset because we want it right on the line so it'll plunge down. We'll call this the chamfer. Chamfer pass. Hit OK and we'll put that into the V section. 
And finally, what we're going to do is we're going to select the inner, which is the actual outside of the candle holders. And we're going to contour those out all the way to the bottom of the stock. Use that selection. We're going to go back to the spiral bit, which is the 4602. And OK on that. Standard feeds and speeds. So we're going to go stock bottom, which is 0.75. I'm going to do that on the outside. And our tabs are going to be 0.1 and 0.1 inches. And this is going to be cut out. And that's going to be under here. So let's see what everything looks like. Let's hide this for a second and we'll go step by step and look at each of our passes. So this is the candle cutouts. What we're expecting are three circles in beach. One, two, three. That seems to be there. Let's enable the pocket cutout, which is the centerpiece. Seems to be there also. Let's enable now the chamfers. Ah, you can see the chamfers are now being cut out. But, okay. Something's not right with this pocket. And let's just see what the cutouts look like. Yeah, the chamfers in the wrong spot. Let's try to figure out what happened here. Okay, not sure what happened, but somehow I was selecting a box here in the middle. Uh, maybe I clicked on the wrong thing, but I redid the chamfer path. Uh, and the same exact parameters, the vector uh, was this outer vector. For some reason, it was going to the inside. I did have no offset. So I'm not sure exactly what happened, but redrawing it seemed to work. So if we save, uh, we show our simulation, we can see we got those pockets, that pocket, looks like that should fit. And we have the, the chamfer coming here. You know what, let me check the bit. Yeah, there's the problem. The bit was the wrong bit. We didn't select the V bit. All right, good thing uh, we're using the 3D modeling tool. Let's select that. Standard feeds and feeds, speeds and feeds. Uh, 0.2, yeah, let's do that. Let's show the simulation again. So now you can see there's a 45 degree uh, chamfer as opposed to a straight up and down uh, cutout. So that was the problem, we used the wrong bit. All right, glad we sorted that out. That's why using the, the simulation tool is a, is a very good thing. Let's just save out the tool paths and let's get cutting. Our stock for today's project is this five and a quarter by 12 inch piece of oak. Not too bad. And we've got that uh, excellent Tavon tape again that uh, we had used in our last project. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double side tape this to our, uh, our CNC bed and we're going to get to cutting. Okay, first things first, let's uh, connect to the machine or to the cutter. It says cutter not found. Why is that? That would be, it would help if you turn on the machine. There we go. Connect the cutter. Let's initialize. Okay, let's mount up our board. That's pretty good. Let's see how this reach. Ooh, just barely. Okay, these little hold downs are just too short. But good thing we made these uh, in our last episode. And we're just going to put them in certain locations here to, uh, to hold the piece down. Oop, 
put another one right over here too. Okay, let's zero out our, uh, our bit here. And I'm gonna set it to tenths of an inch. Let's bring that down a little bit. Oops, wrong direction. We're almost there. Now we're going to switch down to hundreds. Right there. I'm going to set that at zero. And we're gonna raise it up. Zero all. Okay, now we're gonna pull back the uh, laptop and situate the camera in a much better position for you guys to see what's going on. Okay, we're loading up the file right now in Carbide Create. Uh, I mean Carbide Motion, excuse me. And just check to make sure that the paths look right. Not too deep. All right, let's start the job. Here we go, start the job. Just clear that screw. Tool change required. Okay, gonna turn everything on and enjoy. Okay, you might have noticed that uh, we loaded the wrong job. It looked okay, but it wasn't okay. So let me uh, let me move the uh, uh, the router out of the way. And let's load up another piece of. Uh, well, actually, let's try flipping it over and see what happens. Be right back. Okay, now with the correct file loaded, let's start the job again. Okay, carbide motion prompting for tool change. We've already changed the tool. We're putting in that, uh, that amount of it, the 46202K. That's a quarter inch uh, down spiral. I'm gonna resume that, I'm gonna touch it off. Okay, uh, carbide motion prompting for the router to turn on to 18,000. I'm going to do that. The vacuum, enjoy the cut. Okay, time to change out the spindle for the uh, 45 degree V. Okay. This is the bit where uh, we've just inserted and we're gonna touch it off now and continue the cut.
Okay, 35,000 RPM, here we go. Okay, we just finished up that cut. All right. Now, let's see how we did. All right, here we go for a little flyby. Looks okay. What is this little burn thing? Nothing. Looks all right. Clean cuts. Eh, a little bit of burning over there. All right, let's bring it over to the... Uh, to the to the work uh, to the table over here and see what's going on okay so here it is cut out not too bad not too bad you can see this is from uh from our last mistake uh, if i show that in the video because we loaded the wrong file but hey overall it's looking good let's see if this fits oh it's got actually a pretty good fit all right let me clean this up and we'll get right back to you okay so here it is all cleaned up. We got our two pieces. Uh, fits in nicely. I don't think it matters. We got three levels. Now if we just get rid of the mistake we made here on the bottom uh, with cutting out the wrong file initially, I think uh, iteration number two of this would be actually very nice. If you enjoy this project and or enjoyed this video, please, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, tell your friends, and uh, keep watching and uh, help me grow this channel. See you at the next video.